How's it going, everybody? Joys of Sorrow. Welcome to the Joys of Sorrow channel. So, uh, I'm doing an unboxing of an item that I've had in the past. Um, some of you who've been watching this channel for a while might know that I've had this before, and you might know also what happened to the last one. Uh, well, f this time around, Amazon. Uh, during their Cyber Monday sales was having these uh, what I have in here for sale for really cheap cheaper than I bought the original one actually so I decided hey you know what um, I already had one before I know what they're like um, I did do some research and I did see that some people do complain about these new versions but let's just go ahead and let me show you guys what I got if the box didn't give it away already. Yep. Another kayak. So. This here is. The Intex K2 Explorer Inflatable Kayak. Now again, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know I've had one of these before. Um, it cost me a lot more than I picked it up uh, for the Cyber Monday sale. I think it cost me about 75 or 80 bucks. The first one I picked up, uh, they were 50 bucks. So I said, why not? Um, now you're probably wondering, why did you pick up another inflatable kayak? Uh, you already have the inflatable boat and you already have a hard shell kayak. Yes, you're absolutely right. I do have a hard shell kayak. Uh, the inflatable boat is unfortunately no longer functional, so that boat will have to be destroyed and I have to go to the DMV and uh, go get a junk ticket for it, uh, which means that the boat's been destroyed and the DMV recognizes that, so that I don't get any fees or anything. Um, I've pretty much come to the conclusion as far as uh, the boat, a boat goes, I would like to have a boat, I really would, it makes fishing easier. Um, Unfortunately, the setup for the in, the boat that I had, which was an Intex Excursion 5, uh, was pretty long. Um, you know, it took about 45 minutes to an hour to get everything set up to get going. And that was a tiresome endeavor on its own. Um, and only to, when you get back out, you got to take another half hour to 45 minutes to tear everything down, put it in the car, and be on your way. Uh, so that was a lot of a hassle uh, to... I, that boat was 12 feet. The reason I got the boat was because it could fit up to five people. Uh, I expected to do fishing with, uh, you know, with more people, uh, you know, family members. Really didn't go that well. Um, a lot of people didn't like the boat because of how slow it was. Um, so I do want to get a boat in the future. I really would. Um, I've decided it's either going to be one of two things. Either I'm going to get my own canoe or a hard shell canoe or get a Kaboat if I get back into the inflatables. Uh, get a Kaboat seems more of what I want, even though the Kaboats can be pretty big themselves, um, but they are much more heavy duty. They can handle bigger, bigger motors. But the point being is, um, the Intex Excursion 5 did its job. It, it, it hit the water almost 15 times. Um, even for the money that I spent on it, I saved myself a lot of money going out and renting a boat or renting and, and it's the same thing was with this K2 Explorer, at least the first one I got. You know, uh, kayak rentals are pricey, guys. Fuck an airplane. Kayak pre Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I don't edit these, so I'm just gonna fucking wait for it to pass by. Alright, so... Fucking kayak rentals are not cheap. They're about 25 to 40 bucks uh, for about two hours, and then you pay an additional fee for every additional hour. So let's say in the summer, you go to the kayaking at least uh, three times. That'll be more money that you would spend on one of these, uh, even at full price. So um, the other one I got to use about 10, 12 times, it's, uh, if I remember correctly as well. So that was another reason I decided to pick this up. Third... The fishing kayak I have, the Lifetime Tamarack uh, 100, or the 10-foot kayak, is a one-seater, sit on top. Um, I can't take my kid on it, so I need something that I could go out with kiddo, and we could hit the water, and we can both have fun. So, 
this will work. This will definitely work. I hear he has a life vest. Um, you know, he's really interested in, in, in learning to paddle. So, and I have a bunch of extra paddles already. So, yeah, this is this is the way to go. You go ahead and uh, start the unboxing. Now I'm not going to unroll the uh, kayak just yet, or well, maybe I might, I don't know. Well, looks like it all came in the bag. Put this down. Here it is guys. Well, let's see. Open up the bag. Here we go. You get the double Intex double click pump, standard pump really. Um, the actual kayak itself right here. This is the skeg. This goes at the bottom. By the way, do not lose this. If you decide to buy one of these, this is very important. Um, I'm kind of hoping that the one from the last yak, I kept it. Hoping that one works so that I have a spare. There's one, two inflatable seats because this is a two-seater. And then two sets of oars. Bag is bigger. I will I, I will say that right now. The bag is actually bigger than the one that I got uh, with the original one. Probably like about maybe four to six inches uh, wider. So that's actually that's actually a good thing because the bag for this ripped up really quick. Um, just gonna give this a quick look. Make sure that it's not a used item or anything like that. Well, the colors have changed a little bit. It's a lot. It's a, this one's a little more darker in places. Um, I don't really notice any immediate issues with it. Looks clean. It's got a streak mark there, but that could be just from the, you know, being rubbed around. The material will, uh, will streak itself a little bit. But overall, looks good. I mean looks really good check the seats seats look fine these straps here is how it secures itself to the kayak there's clips um, yeah you know what I think everything's gonna be fine so again this is just an unboxing video I just kind of want to show you guys uh, what's included when you open this up um, again, I, I'm not going to stretch it out all the way. I will make a video of doing the inflation test of uh, where, and I, where, where and I inflate it. But basically what I do is I will start inflating this and then leave it for about a day or two. Uh, and then reinflate it just a little bit, add a little bit more air uh, because PVC is, is a, does stretch out a little bit and just go from there to see that there's no pinholes or anything like that and as long as it's good uh you know we'll, i'll head the, i'll head head into the water with it maybe later uh later obviously not this year because this year's coming up but sometime next year when it starts to warm up just a little bit might go hit lake castaic or uh i'll hit the marina and i'll give this a try for you guys to see but yeah that's gonna be pretty much it for this video guys thank you for watching if you guys like the video, hit the like button, subscribe. Um, yeah, have a nice day.